Hey guys, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got a beautiful 1966 Chevelle for you today. This baby's been on the rotisserie. That's right, the bottom is just as nice as the top. There's a big block under that hood, hooked up to a four speed. She's looking absolutely gorgeous sitting here in the showroom. It is beautiful today. We got great looking chrome on there. We got great looking grill in there. Just a beautiful car, man. Got a couple finger smudges here. It looks like the guys were on the chrome. Got to keep that nice and shiny. She is a beauty. And like I said, it's got a, a big block under the hood. We'll take a nice close look at that here in a minute. We're going to get it out. We're going to get it up on the lift. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to drive it today because it is nasty outside. It was test driven when it first came in here and the guy says it drives awesome. Got some badass wheels on it also, four-wheel disc brakes. All the body lines are lining up nice. The doors line up nice with the front fenders. They're lining up nice with the back uh, quarters. She is a beauty. The car's got killer stance on it also. Always want to see it jacked up a little bit in the back. Door jams are nice and clean. Looks like the rubber was replaced. We got beautiful interior in here. I see a stereo system. I see the gear shifter hooked it up to that Muncie transmission. Of course, we got the bench seat in here, which is super nice. You can get your honey scooted right up next to you. Got plenty of speakers out back. Headliners looking sweet. All the bright work under here is looking good. It's got a custom dash pad, custom steering wheel. It's got a custom uh, lower valance for the air conditioning vents. I mean, everything about this thing is screaming custom, screaming cool. Take this to any car show, be very proud of it. Get it out on the road, cruise it, get to the ice cream stand, take this baby to the grocery store, wherever you want to go, she is ready for you. I'm looking for the keys right now. I got them. We're going to pop open this trunk. Now, I suggest you do this on any car that you're... Uh, considering purchasing, make sure you always pop open the trunk. I got the wrong key or I got it in upside down. There we go. We'll go with the round key, wrong side down. There it goes. 14 tries. Now look at how nice they finished out this trunk. It is beautiful. Looks like all the stereo equip equipment right there. Beautiful work here. Look at the bottom side of the deck lid also. Look at the paint work there. They even took the time to take the latch out, paint it black, looking good. Same thing down here. We got a battery shut off in here too, right here, real easy to get at. As you look down the side, she is gorgeous. Like I said, the stance is just absolutely beautiful. And I really love the color on it too. It's a deep maroon. It's got a light metallic in it. It is just sparkling here in the lights. Now, a lot of people ask where we find all these gorgeous cars and trucks. Well, we have a whole team of uh, buyers that look for cars all day long, every way you can think of. They collect a bunch of information on each car or truck. They bring them to us. We pick out our favorites. Then we physically go out and look at every vehicle so you don't have to. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to drive this beast today because it's snowing outside. And... I tell you what, this thing is looking beautiful in here. Look at all the paint work, all the chrome work, and look at all the custom work. They've got this, uh, I'm not even sure, this is a equalizer here. I tell you, we got the air conditioning vents in here, the four speed, a uh, billet specialty wheel, tilt column. I mean, everything about this car is just absolutely cool as can be. Customized to the nines, man. Looking absolutely gorgeous in here. Now, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can deliver this thing anywhere you want. You just call Tom at any time at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Now, check us out on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you see all of our new videos. And I want to thank everyone who has already subscribed. You've got us up over a million subscribers. Now, stick with us because we're going to put it up in the air and show you how clean the bottom side is right now. <laughs>
underneath this baby now and it is clean under here. As you can see, it looks like the tank was replaced at one time. Everything under here is all painted up looking good. The frame's looking good. It looks like it's got a bed liner material on the bottom side of the uh, floorboards there, or the trunk floor, I should say, while I'm back here. We got this big heavy duty aluminum cover on the rear end. Now these two bolts actually put pressure on those caps on the center section, give it some more strength. Uh, it does have a posi unit in it, and we just rolled it over and counted it, and it is a 308 gear. And the previous owner tells us it's a 308 gear. We got Willwood disc brakes out back. We got aftermarket uh, lower control arms here. We got aftermarket upper control arms. And as you can see, we got the uh, fast chicken there on the uh, mufflers, so those are the uh, Hearst uh, mufflers. You can see the coating on the floorboard here, all nice and pretty. Uh, you're going to have to get under here and keep it nice and clean. Get under here with the Windex and the paper towels. Uh, we got a Muncie M20 Trans. That's a four speed that's similar to what would have came in the car originally. We got an explosion proof bell housing that is aftermarket. We have a stock appearing clutch set up there. We've got jet coated headers. Looks like the brake line and the fuel line have been replaced. The lower control arms are all painted up. Brake line going from left to right here looks good, uh, and it looks new. Uh, bushings on the sway bar look new, the aluminum radiator. I always look at the front frame horns. The front frame horns don't look like they've ever been touched. Nice and straight. The core support also is a good thing to look at on every one of these cars, and the core support's nice. Just beautiful. Back side of the bumper is just about as clean as the front side. The chrome looks good right down to the bottom edge. You can see uh, the tires look like they uh, don't have very many miles on them whatsoever. I still see a lot of the nubblies there. We've got um, two 45-45-17s on some good looking American racing wheels. You can see those uh, drilled and slotted rotors in there also and those Willwood disc brakes. As you look down the side there, bottom side of the rocker is looking good. That rocker molding's also looking good. You can see that the frame's all painted up nice. I always try to get a finger up in here and it's nice and smooth back here. That is a common place for these cars to have a problem. This pinch weld looks good. Always feel the back side of the uh, rocker too. Again, that's another thing to look at. Uh, out back here, we got some more rubber on the ground because that's where the horsepower meets the ground. Two 8540 17s, and again, those same good looking American Racing aluminum wheels. Let's lower this baby down and see what's making power. She is looking slick under the hood, a bunch of polished aluminum under here. It's got a front drive system on it. The car does have AC, that's a late model AC pump there all aftermarket. It's got a Holly four barrel sitting on top. That's a dual feed carburetor. It's got an HEI distributor set up. Now the previous owner tells us it's a 427. I just checked out the block uh, casting numbers and it shows that the block started out life as a 454, but we all know that the bore is the same on a 454 and a 427. It's just a slightly shorter stroke on a 427, so they wrap up a little quicker. Uh, so as long as it's got a 427 crank in it, I have no reason not to believe the previous owner. Um, we got a good looking aluminum radiator in there, good looking aluminum intake. Um, everything's looking good under here. Power steering, power brakes. It's got the Willwood master cylinder. Firewall's painted up nice. The bottom side of the hood's painted up. The wheel houses are all painted up. They did a nice job routing all the hoses and everything back through that fender well and on top of the fender well. I mean, everything on this thing is looking sweet as can be, guys. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motorsports park this little green in your driveway.